Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back in for another episode of Mass Effect 2. So today we're gonna probably pick up another member out of our dossier and I can't remember which two are left, but I'm just gonna pick whichever one sounds good and kind of just roll with it. So I know the Firewalker DLC, a few of you mentioned that that is actually how we learned to drive the little hovercraft that we were recklessly driving around. If it's literally just me learning how to drive the car, then I will record myself doing it, but I might cut it out since we all know I know how to drive it very well. We definitely already have our license. We know all of the tips and tricks on how to make it work now. I was wondering why there was no tutorial at all before we just hopped in there. I didn't know about like scanning or those sparkly things on the floor. I actually had to go in through the key bindings menu and like kind of study the key bindings for that. So I guess it was more of like a self-taught experience, but that's pretty much how driver's ed goes in the US anyway. So we're gonna do the same thing that we always do. Just hop in and enjoy the ride, go through the journal, maybe pick up some more resources and just kind of go wherever our heart takes us today and I'm really looking forward to it hopefully it's a much lighter episode than last time somehow I ended up stumbling upon the most intense DLC I actually read about it after I completed it off stream that day because I was in I was in shambles I was not well and that goes to show you how deep and amazing the storyline in this game is and I was shook yeah, I was very shook just like you guys were and um, I could not stop thinking about that quote. The quote that he keeps saying at the end, you know, and it all seemed harmless. Oh, I just got chills. Um, it's it's up there with like the, my most sentimental quotes that I have ever heard in a game, movie, all that stuff. It's definitely probably my top five quotes that I can hear and read and feel some sort of emotional attachment to. So it was a great quest. It was very emotional, such a great ride. Was not expecting it to go there though. And I definitely look at Cerberus with a fresh, different set of eyes. So maybe it was a good thing that we did that DLC so early. I mean, look at the quest that we got into before the DLC. Do you think that I would have answered the same way? I'm, I keep going back and like reiterating on what I've done so far to stick up for Cerberus and it kind of makes my stomach hurt <laughs> at this point. It just, it makes my stomach hurt. Tim has a lot to answer for, Cerberus has a lot to answer for, and I think from here on out my outlook on them is completely different and I might answer some questions very differently. If I would have done that first quest after we did. The DLC, I would have turned in the data to the Alliance, 100%. I would have without a, without even like a skip, a beat, <laughs> nothing. I would have just, okay, well, your dirty laundry is going to be aired out. And going back, I hope that we have some more opportunities like that in the future to let people know what Cerberus is really doing. We have this unique standing where we're on the inside. I just wonder how, it, how it's going to go. If we actually can take a stand against Cerberus, even though we're technically working for them, I just have all of these like unanswered questions and the devil and the angel kind of thing going on here. Very ready to hop in today and meet a new crew member. I'm just gonna read through the journal and do what we always do and just follow our, follow our heart on this one. So I'll see you guys in there. So we're ready to leave. I've already talked to everyone that we need to talk to here. I've also done a bunch of our upgrades and everything like that. So I think we're ready to just kind of embark on our first mission. Um, for the dossier. Oh, we have something in our codex. Technology. What's new? Maybe like VI because of everything that we went to last time. It might have been like VI or something. Um, okay, that's weird. And we have two squad points, which I don't know. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for maxing out operative. So that will be like my main plan today. All right, so we have the convict and the warlord. 
The convict is an exceptional biotic ability, criminal background currently in custody. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful biotic human biotic ever encountered. Very little additional data regarding Jack is available, except that the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held at the Turian prison ship Purgatory. Cerberus has negotiated for the prisoner's release. A criminal? I don't know. With a, like a really bad... I mean, Rex kind of has like his emotional uh, combativeness. We've had to talk Rex down a few ledges. So I don't know. Once you got to know Rex, he was a very interesting depth filled character i love rex i really wish that we could meet up with him again but um yeah dr oak here millennia of combat and strategic experience rumored familiarity with collector technology that actually might come in handy a brilliant and brutal Krogan warlord who fought in the Krogan rebellions, Dr. Okir has become obsessed with saving the Krogan people from the Genophage and is believed to have contacted the Collectors in an attempt to gain technology to that end. Ooh, if he gets in, if he gets in with Professor, they're going to have some words together. He's currently in a Blue Suns camp on Corliss, though the nature of his relationship with the mercenary group is unknown. I guess we could pick up both of them, right? All right, so let's just start chronologically and travel to Purgatory and go to this prison ship and see what he's about. We don't have to use them. Like, if we don't want to, we're just kind of like meeting people that could be a part of our team. So I, there's no harm in doing this. And I do want to pick up everyone that's possible. So... Let's just start with this one because it's the first on the list. No other reason. <laughs> Go to the prison ship Purgatory and pick up the convict. <laughs> All right. Does it tell us where exactly he is? It just says prison prison ship Purgatory. I guess we got to search for it. Turian prison ship. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to get wild. So let me zoom, zoom around and see what we can find here. Mass relay. Yeah, let's go to the mass relay. Let's get some fuel. So, recruit the convict. There we go. Hourglass Nebula. I had a feeling it would be like laid out for me. Prison ship purgatory. <laughs> What's this? Ooh, kind of looks like Saturn. Um, a standard gas giant composed of hydrogen and helium. The spacefarers from Erinly gather helium-3 from here, rather than Orunmila, and its atmosphere is much more predictable. It's moderate, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. Um, but it looks pretty. I like that planet. What about this one? Ooh. An extremely large rock planet with a thin atmosphere of hydrogen and carbon, in, carbon monoxide, abundant in both copper and platinum. The crust has been scanned by mining bots from Erinly, but the specialized equipment to work in Aganju's heavy gravity, more than 5 Gs, has created prohibitive costs, and so Aganju is largely unexploited. So is it rich? Oh, it's good. Uh, I'll just do like a couple. A medium-sized gas giant, Arunmila, is close enough to its parent star to suffer massive changes in temperature during its day and night periods. This leads to powerful convection currents and storms throughout its hydrogen-helium atmosphere. Gathering helium-3 to refuel is possible for the hardiest of exploration craft, but less ships are nearly always lost in attempt. 
Arunmala is within the frost line of its solar system where icy cord gas giants do not usually form. For this reason, it is believed to be an extrasolar planet capable, or sorry, captured by its star's gravity. And it's moderate. All right. Let's see what this last one is. Kind of looks like Earth, like a green Earth. <laughs> a garden world in its last stages of habitability. Hopefully it's not like Earth. While its soil still supports agriculture, its animal biodiversity has fallen to record lows. And the most successful remaining life is toxic blue-green algae, an insect-like pest species. A large Solarian colony is trying to restore biodiversity to the planet, but setbacks are a fact of life. Mineral and fuel mining re remains lucrative. However, Iron Lee has a thriving spaceport that refuels many ships passing into the Terminus systems. Hmm, okay. So let's get into this prison ship purgatory. Oh, that thing looks crazy. Owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company. They own the prison ship? The purgatory was once an ark ship used to hold agricultural animals. Now it is used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrumptious politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Rumors around the Blue Sun turn skilled or fit prisoners over to Batarian slavers, but few have ever seen the transaction and lived to tell about it. Its population is listed at 4,300, but independent journalists estimate it is nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. Jeez. I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Are they just going to hand them over to us? All right, so we're going to take Miranda with us and maybe Zaid because he looks like a chonkers and he might um, help stick up for us. I don't know. He just seems very like straightforward and blunt and I feel like he'd be a good person to take along with me to a prison run. <laughs> We're not like breaking him out of prison, are we? It said that there were they signed the release of him. I'm guessing it should be fine. Let's go ahead and switch you over to Why don't you try this one out? And I think I already gave her everything that I... Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to take Garrus with me because him and the Blue Suns <laughs> don't really get along. Wow, this is cool. Prison guard. Welcome to the purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. <laughs> As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. My weapons? No. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. No, I'm gonna keep my weapons. I'm in a purgatory prison ship. <laughs> it's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Okay. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. Cryo. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup commander. Let's go. Like he was, he's been frozen? Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. This is wild. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. Oh my God. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. 
We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Nothing? How many days since the last incident? <laughs> yeah, how expensive is it to keep this place running? Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. And what if they don't pay? Could you imagine paying to keep someone in prison? What happens if the home I mean, world we doesn't do, want but... to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Yeah, I agree with Miranda. Who are you? How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin, and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. You're not hiring the right ones. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. So it's principle. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. I kind of agree with that statement. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. What? Why are they handing him over to us then? This is wild. You know how much money they probably bribed them with? Enough to keep this place running for a year, maybe? Jeez. Let's get on with this. Anyone ever tried to escape? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. <laughs> we have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. You're just gonna let me roam? I'll okay. catch up with you later, Shepard. Uh, proceed to outprocessing. Follow the corridor to outprocessing where Kirill's men will give you Jack. Oh, there's a codex on this place. Look at this. It's wild. There's actually, like, people in these cells. And this thing's just moving around waiting to yeet them out or freeze them or do whatever it's doing. What is it doing? moving around. Alright, let's look at the codex for here. Purgatory. Originally an arc ship designed to carry... Wait, we already read this. Oh no, we didn't. Originally an arc ship designed to carry agricultural animals, the Purgatory was taken by the Blue Sun's mercenary company during a large-scale battle in the Skillian Verge. In a years-long reconstruction of its interior, the Blue Suns repurposed it to hold sapient prisoners. Supposedly because they captured so many in their conflicts through the galaxy. When media outlets started investigating claims that the ship was used for slaving operations, the Blue Suns turned a public relations nightmare into a regular income source. Claiming to be in full accordance with Citadel law, the crew of the Purgatory now regularly lands on planets or space stations, claiming that they can no longer hold their prisoners because of cost overruns. To avoid keeping prisoners under inhumane conditions, they will have to release them at the nearest port, dumping the scum of the galaxy directly into the local population. Faced with such a scenario, the government usually grants Purgatory's crew massive discounts in fuel, food, and repairs as long as they go away. What the heck? Some even offload their own prisoners to Purgatory for a fee, grateful to have a problem relocated somewhere other than their backyard. Such unfortunates go into the depths of the ship, never to be seen again by their families or contacts. Purgatory is minimally armed with guardian defenses, 
Though a cruise weight ship, it relies on the Blue Sun's fighters to prevent any attacks bent on a jailbreak or similar events. That's wild. That's actually wild. So not all of them are, he said coming out of cryo, maybe because Jack is like a high risk dude. No one walks away <gasps> from torture unchanged. Oh my God. Not the subject, not the torturer himself. Never found torture worth the price myself. Jeez, weren't you gonna do anything? Oh, that's a guard beating up the other dude. Is there something I can do for you? Is this necessary? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This is beneath you. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions. I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Jeez. Just wailing on him. What, until he dies? Like, what was the point of that? God. Hey. Hey, guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Why does everyone feel this way about Jack? I'm scared. <laughs> Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. Crazy and biotic power. Um... I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. So they can do some punishing of their own? Jeez. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Did they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. I mean, yeah, you're being forced to, like, punch people repetitively that are innocent. I mean, not innocent. That's... That are, um... Unequipped, like... Like she said before, I'm thinking of the word. It, like, blipped out of my mind. That are... Like, they don't have the power to fight back. So yeah, I'm guessing it would change them, make them meaner. And they're doing something very aggressive. So what are you in for? I killed a few people, only about 20 or so. Oh. And I blew up that one habitat, oh. small time compared to most of the guys here. He just said that so nonchalant. What's it like here? Bad, and you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your pride. That sounds bad. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Yeah, that sounds really bad. I think I thought that this is where he was going with that, but I wasn't sure. And then he confirmed it. Jeez. I should go. Wish I could go. Well, you murdered like 20 people or so, and then also like that habitat. <laughs> like you just brushed it off. Like it's not a big deal. You deserve to be in here. Like, I'm sorry. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was creepy. Hmm. Okay. So I think I might just try to go this way first. Let me look at the map. Yeah, it wants me to go that way, but I want to see what's over here. <laughs> I want to look around. Soulcon 5. 
This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall on your right. They'll bring your package there after the cryothaw is finished. Yeah, that's what I thought. He did say cryothaw. So I guess the really, the really bad ones get frozen. Jack will be brought to you in out processing. Back down the hall on your right. I can't okay. let you into the Supermax wing. Supermax. Okay. Where'd my squad go? Oh, they're back there. Okay. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. Okay. Is that blood? Oh my god, this room is disgusting. What is this area? Why is there just like blood all over the floor randomly? Nothing in here. Okay. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. What? Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. A prisoner? Uh, what? You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Excuse me? Why is this happening? Oh, I don't have any heavy ammo. Okay. I... So he wants to capture us? I knew that something bad was going to happen. Oh, I knew it. Nuts. I'm gonna go try to grab some ammo. Firing now. Oh, dog. Okay, we're fine. I think that one's down. This one needs to get down too. Firing concussive shot. Alright, let me get some more ammo. Let's get Jack out of the freezer. I don't even know where he is. How do we get back to him? Do we have to go through that door, maybe? Oop, I missed. Oh, boy. Whoa! Okay. This is bad. <laughs> oh, I can't use the... Oh, I shouldn't have switched guns. I should have used camouflage first. bad so i'm guessing we got to go through this door maybe through uh this place over here oh geez there's a ton of them coming bullets do I have left? Okay. Watch out! He's still alive. This is nuts. I can't believe this Shepherd is happening. Repeat, Get people down oh here. god. I feel bad about that one. Security controls. If we oh, have the control, for his... every okay. door on the cell block opens. It's the only way. This seems doing it. Be ready. Bad. Um. We're about to let all of these criminals out. I don't know how I feel about this. <gasps> Is that Jack? Wait. That's Jack. Gosh, good thing they covered her nipples with straps. <laughs> she looks crazy. 
Oh my god. They're going to kill her. Let's move. Okay, where are we moving to? Oh my god, that's Jack? Who the heck? Is there anything else for me to pick up in here? Oh wait, there's this thing. Warning. Warning. Sounds like heavy fighting. Oh my god. What the heck? She just annihilated these mags. Like, it's not even a big deal. I'll take it. Damage protection. Let's go. Oh, Holy crap. Lethal force authorized, but don't kill Jack. Oh, jeez. All right, we got some heavy weapon ammo. Let's go. Sector 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. No survivors. Oh my god, she did all of this? Is that her? Oh no, that's a baddie. <gasps> Blue suns, peeps. I don't know who that is. All right, let me see if I can get over there. I think I'm supposed to go this way. There's a big chonkers over there. I'm gonna use this like heavy ammo on him. Okay, and then we'll switch back to this. <gasps> I was lucky. nothing to it. Holy crap. Okay, we can't do anything else. Jeez. This thing is crazy. And Jack just like took him out like it was not a big deal. Okay, it's fine. Let's go. Okay, nothing over here. I'm gonna pick up this ammo. Warning. <gasps> Power plant damage has led to overload. Shepard, the warden has locked down the area behind you. You must find another exit route. So this exit route? This guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. We never had a chance. Improvised weapons? Now let's finish you off. Oh, I thought I was targeting him. Okay, it's fine. Can I get over 30. this way? No. No survivors. All right, let me grab that. It's so like dark and like whenever the lights go out, I actually get scared. <laughs> Cause it like completely blips okay. like. <laughs> some people coming through that door. 
I'm gonna try to run over here. Get this ammo. There's another mech over there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use the heavy gun. Hopefully it works this time. Get under cover! What are you doing? Let's go! That's awesome. The mech's still alive, though. He's very much alive. Worth it. Gosh, I wish that he was affected by that, too. It, like, doesn't even affect him at all. It's wild. Oh, the mech. Okay, that's Kazim. Okay, let's go pick up this ammo. I think that's everyone, hopefully, for now. They're probably gonna swarm us again soon. Let me just scavenge for some ammo. Credits, no ammos over here? Dang, okay. I guess I do have 10 in here, which is good. All guards to cell block one. I'm gonna go check up here real quick. Just to see if there's any like stuff for me to take, but I doubt it. No loot. Okay. This is wild. I was not expecting it to go this way. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Some meta gel. A wall safe. And creds nice <gasps> oh okay I thought that was Jack this guy needs to die I can't believe he did this shepherd. I could have sold you and lived like a king an ass but you're too much trouble at least I can recapture Jack not happening hip firing who is this guy I don't have time for it I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. You're high. Ah. All right, I don't know what the heck that thing is, but it looks bad. Um, all right, use that. Yeah. Is there like another back somewhere? Oh, you already used your abilities, okay. Where? What's happening over there? It's a shield generator. Can I blow it up? Oh, I have to hit this part. Okay. to my right. Oh, there's two to my right. There's more coming, I think. Should have saved that for him. They just keep coming. All right, 
right, where's that other shield? Let me get that one offline. Maybe it'll help. I think Jax might be in there. Oh, it was him, the mage chonkers. He's in there, okay. I was wondering who was in there. I can't wait to kill this guy. about Cerberus. What the hell do you want? Um, <laughs> to rescue you? You're welcome? I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm not going to say to rescue you because I just don't really feel like saying that. She kind of scares me. <laughs> My name is Shepard and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. Yeah, so she hates Cerberus. Being my enemy is unhealthy. So what? Yeah, so what? Why do you hate Cerberus? Why does it matter if I'm with Cerberus? They've been on my ass for years. Anytime I get free, they put a huge bounty on me. That's why Warden Curl figured he'd struck gold when he caught me. She's destroyed Cerberus property and killed Cerberus people. Hence the bounty. You die first. Well, I don't know when we're going to get on her good side, but it kind of feels like never. <laughs> I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. Listen to Shepard. It'll save your life. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Well, yeah, look at your options. The ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. Maybe we should. It might just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. You don't have to bargain? What do you want? You don't have to bargain. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. Um, well, okay. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. Interesting. I wonder what she wants with those data logs. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared of her, but it's just because she's so wild and she definitely has like temper issues. <laughs> and I'm more of like the even keeled, like, like to read the lore, kind of take my time. And she's just over there like, <sighs> like, I don't know if you guys played Boulder's Gate 3, but Carlock was like, she was always doing something, always like, you know, up and like attacking attack mode. And I kind of get that from Jack, too. It's also interesting that she's very against Cerberus and has been captured by them several times. And she keeps getting away slash murdering Cerberus people. But what? Now she's willing to work with us as long as we give her data access. It's, I'm wondering where this is going to go. Recruited prisoner known as Jack for the team. I was not expecting Jack to look like that. Also, does she get like a shirt or something? Because I, we, we need to like work on her wardrobe. <laughs> Purgatory's betrayal of Shepard, unacceptable. Fortunately, was able to reverse credit transfer. Ah, oh, so they didn't end up even having to pay for Jack. Interesting. Uh, okay. May have to take steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. So now Blue Suns is on their bad side. 
Not looking great for blue suns. Use the research computer to upgrade some shields, barriers, and armor. Nice. Uh, we also got a weapon upgrade for shotguns, some creds, and element zero. I want to have a conversation with Jack. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Yeah, give her the files. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Mm-hmm. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. So she's the one who lives in the basement. <laughs> uh huh. Saw that coming. Wow. All right. Well, maybe since we gave her access to the files, she'll spread some of our, some of what she finds to us too. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna go talk to Miranda first because she's probably mad at me. Possibly. We have a few upgrades as well. Yeah, I'm like super interested to see what she finds in those logs and what she's going to share with me, if possible, if she even trusts me. All right, let's do that. And what is this? M622 Avalanche used to modify standard weapon slugs. Cooling laser collapses the ammunition into Bose Einstein condensate. A mass of super cold subatomic particles capable of snap freezing impacted objects. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. We'll try that one out. Well, at least we only need one more. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Okay. Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? My gosh, what is going on on this ship? There's a pregnant crewmate. There's now like some sort of STD going I'll around. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. <gasps> what kind of ship are we running here? Good God. Okay. So let me take a look. I want to try out that new one that we just got. The avalanche. Just to see how it does. We'll take it out once. I do like the black coal. I think it's a really cool gun. But um, it takes forever to like get it to shoot. Which is probably going to be the same as this one as well. But we'll see. We will see what happens. So I'm going to go talk to Miranda real quick. And see what she has to say, if anything. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. She's okay. She's crazy. What do you mean? You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. Wow, that was a really insightful breakdown, Kelly. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, <laughs> what's up? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. There was one other problem. How may I help you, Commander? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Okay. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. So, Miranda's here. We should probably go feed our fish, too before we leave. So we'll talk to Miranda, talk to Jack, and go from there. 
Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Thought she was gonna ream me out for giving out data. Apparently I'm not authorized to do that, even though I'm technically the captain here. <laughs> we all know that I'm not the captain anymore. We're just kind of a puppet in some ways. I was just thinking about you. I have to say, that Jacob? Mm -hmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a penchant for kleptomania. What? <laughs> what? Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. It's true, actually. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. Yeah, that is virtual intelligence. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Okay, thanks for the laughs. <laughs> uh, that Jacob. Yeah, we're not talking to Jacob for a little bit. Um, as you guys can probably tell, I skipped the conversation with him. I just don't feel like being thrown into a flirtatious setting with Jacob. I don't like how it's like pushed upon us. So we're just gonna not talk to him for now. He probably doesn't have anything to say right now anyways. We'll let her have him. Um, so he, she should be like down here. I'm interested to see what she did with the place. <laughs> if anything. Oh, no, there's nothing here yet. Just all the data pads. Hey. Um. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Wow, okay. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Okay, what did she say it was? This one, the subject zero. Oh, nice, we can research it. Okay, 20% biotic damage, let's go. Like she needs hey. it. <laughs> Holy crap, she tore through that prison like it was nothing. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. I'm still finding out about me. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. Hmm. I feel like she's talking of like, do you think maybe she was a part of like an experiment? They experimented on her. She is like the strongest biotic human ever. She's trying to find all the people that are responsible for making her who she is. Her temper might come from being such a biotic creature that like, I don't know, this is all like hypothetical, but Remember when we were in Emma, uh, ME1 and R.A.P. to Kaden, but he told us that he had one of the implants that was like known for causing anger issues and headaches. And he only had like the headache side, but there was also that element of having breakdowns and anger and stuff like that. So maybe Jack just is struggling with that internally because she is obviously very strong um very much biotic at this point and i wonder if she was maybe a lab rat at some point and is maybe trying to get back at the people who played a role in making her who she is i wonder 
I'm just, I'm gonna say I can't let you do that. Not because I wanna say that to her, be, but because I wanna know the answer. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. A research facility as a kid. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. Yep, I was right. Yep. Oh my god, Cerberus has... I'm not surprised, but it's really sick to think about kids that are raised in a research lab and turned into this. And how many might not survive. And how many are still in there. Oh, my stomach hurts. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. Aww. You know... This ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. My mission is too important. I don't want to say that because I don't really believe fully in Cerberus anymore after everything I've been through. How would you help? You'd be my first mate. I'd lead the boarding party and handle the executions. You enjoy killing. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. She's been in fight or flight for so long. I should go. Yep. That's all she knows. Dang. I like Jack. I think that I am going to grow to find her to be a really interesting character. Wow, okay. I had kind of a feeling that when she saw Cerberus and her eyes kind of did like the like scared thing and then she got so angry, like just red fire hot rage. I was wondering if she had like a bad memory or something like that. She had such a strong reaction to seeing Cerberus that I just figured something had to have happened. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. <laughs> they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors and the balance is back in line. What can we do for you, Commander? Um, okay. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Nothing new to say. I've never actually talked to her. Oh, it just prompts him again. What can we do for you, Commander? Okay. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I love his accent. All right, let's go up and feed our fish. Um, we can go talk to Kazim before we leave. That's his name, right? I keep wanting to call him Kazimi, and I know you guys laughed at me. What's his name? Zaid. Oh God, I was wrong again. <laughs> I keep wanting to call him Kazim. I think that's a better name. Back for another lesson. Jack, subject zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Yeah. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. Yeah, I never thought that a Hannah would be aggressive like that. Holy moly, they can fight. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right, we'll just take our trash out real quick, like we always do. It's so satisfying. I was down and out when I found that gun. Jessie was the first weapon I got my hands on. Took her everywhere. She didn't have much punch, but reliable as all hell. She'd already been through a lot by the time I got her. Still, I never had to recite her once. 
damn good rifle. Sentimental with his rifle. I remember Jesse's first kill. Torian arms dealer out of Omega. I ran through miles of filth and rust to hunt him down. When I finally cornered him, that gun was caked in two inches of the foulest sludge you can imagine. Ew. But Jesse wanted that Turian dead, so two shots. And he died right there. I killed my way across the Terminus systems with that gun. Seemed like Jesse wanted to kill more than I did. Bloodthirsty old bitch. I owe half my reputation to that weapon right there. Anytime someone calls me ruthless, relentless, they're talking about that rifle. <laughs> Such a sentimental value to a gun. I mean, I get it. When you're a gun for hire, you get attached to your gun. Sometimes it's all you have. All right, let's go feed our fish. And then I'm going to go find the next person on the dossier. <laughs> see what the next adventure brings. I was not expecting the prison scene to go that way at all. Or Jack to be what she is. Like, every time that I think I'm, like, about to embark on, like, I don't know, a normal mission, it just turns out to turn so wild. It's pretty cool. Still in, med the avalanche. Still in its experimental stages. The M622 avalanche generates a Bose-Einstein condensate within a mass effect bubble, which dissipates on impact, violently spraying the condensate outward and coating the target in a near absolute zero superfluid. Mm. The avalanche is unreliable, at times merely coating its target with ice, defacing exposed skin and freezing armor joints. Such low temperatures cause great damage to electronics like kinetic barrier emitters, which sometimes leads to total systems failure. At the other extreme, the avalanche freezes flesh and bone, causing massive trauma as blood vessels constrict and frozen blood expands. Occasionally, such ice tissue shatters. It's unreliable. So sometimes it'll just coat them in ice and sometimes it will literally tear their flesh off. Interesting, okay. I don't know how I feel about an unreliable weapon, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> we will give it a try. All right, we need to go back to the Citadel too and do this Krogan Sushi um, quest line as well. Okay, so now we have the Warlord and then I think that's pretty much it. Um, besides whoever we find along the way. What does our squad look like now? Where's like that menu where we can look at all the squad men members? Oh, we have four now. Oh, let's go. Okay, so we can go up to operative now. Nice. All right, so, ooh, there's like a breakdown of which one you can do. Assassin, your focus in sniper zoom is enhanced and you receive a damage bonus to all weapons and powers. I love how it gives a breakdown. Health plus 15, weapon damage 15. Power recharge time minus 9%, sniper slowdown time. And then Paragon Renegade, we still get a boost in Paragon Renegade, even though it's not the agent one, 70%. So what's agent? 100%. Your endurance and mental fortitude reduce the recharge time of powers and give a bonus to their duration. Your Paragon and Renegade scores reach their highest level. So power recharge time is better. The only thing that is actually better for Assassin is weapon damage. And it's by a good 6%. Um, and of course, the sniper slowed on time, but it's by like 10%. It's not that big of a difference. And 0.25 seconds duration. I think I might go with Agent. I was a little bit on the fence because the power, the weapon damage on this is so extreme, plus 15. But as long as we're doing like our upgrades and stuff like that, I think we should be fine. I enjoy the dialogue so much in this game that I think that the Paragon Renegade at our highest level is super important. 
um, especially since we are going to go into ME3 as well. So I am going to go with Agent. We are at full power now for Agent. So any other squad points are probably going to go into Tactical Cloak so that our Tactical Cloak stays on for longer and probably Disruptor, disruptor Ammo. Tactical Cloak and Disruptor Ammo are things that I'm going to focus on for now. Um, I do want to turn on AI Hacking, but it's not on the top of my priority list for now. So I'm probably just going to, yeah, focus on Tactical Cloak and then Disruptor for a bit. All right, so the Warlord. This was the Dr. Oak here one, the one that I don't think is going to get along with um, our professor at all because he's trying to stop the genophage pretty much um, and is believed to have contacted the Collector in attempt. It's kind of funny that they're on the same page with familiarity with Collector technology, but they have two different standpoints on the Krogan genophage. I'm interested to know more about this dude. So it looks like they're currently in a Blue Suns camp. So interesting that we're going to a Blue Suns camp after everything that we just went through on the Purgatory ship. Um, yeah, not great, but we're going to head there now on Corliss. Do you need any fuel? No. Help Saeed recruit the warlord, Eagle Nebula. All right, so there's Corliss. I am gonna try to scan for some stuff. Cold and distant, Gregus is currently 65% rock by mass and 35% frozen methane and nitrogen ices. In the planet's summer years, these percentages change as the sun heats its ice and evaporates into a thin atmosphere. I don't like how it looks all speckly. Its calcium heavily crust has been scouted by countless coreless surveying teams, most of whom came back empty handed. So I'm guessing it's gonna be, oh, it's rich. Interesting, okay. I wasn't expecting that. All right, so we're going to Corliss. Recruit the Warlord. A garbage scowl with a climate was how one of Citadel Council members described Corliss at the turn of the century. And ever since then, the Corliss Tourist Bureau has been attempting to rebrand their planet. A garbage scowl? <laughs> it hasn't worked, though they have tried calling it the recycling center of the galaxy. Corruption scandals and a staggering murder rate ensure that Corliss's image is permanently stained. Corliss's biggest business is the recycling of decommissioned or junk spacecraft into their component parts. While the invention of Omnigel has, been, has made this process significantly cleaner, it is still a dirty business that chokes Corliss's sky with smog and fills its ports with megatons of scrap. A shady hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass found out the spectacle of urban decay. Travel advisory. Corliss ranks second in murder per capita in the Terminus systems and is first in off-worlder murder. Of course the Blue Suns have a camp here. Civilian traffic is encouraged to employ security professionals when visiting. The population is 3.8 billion? Oh my gosh. That's a large population. All right, so we're dealing with Blue Suns. It's interesting to me that we have one more dossier, but one, two, three, four slots left. So I'm wondering, I'm guessing we'll meet them along the travels, but um, yeah, it's just very interesting. I wonder who those spaces will be filled with. So I don't know if I'm ready to take Jack with me. Um, since we're going in like a murder area, maybe it would be best to take her, but she hates Miranda and... Mm, yeah, 
So I think I'm actually going to take Morden because I'm interested to see how he reacts to meeting this new guy. Because <laughs> I want to know what they think about each other. And I'm going to take Miranda. I also... Yeah, okay, the avalanche. I did switch to that one. She has that. What does Morden have? The hand cannon and the machine pistol. Okay, I need to get him some better stuff. Dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Perfection is your goal. Okay. Broadcasting orders over loudspeaker. Jeez. Charming. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. This place is in shambles. No wonder why it's not a tourist area. Known as the Starcraft Cemetery, Corliss was the region. What? That was an interesting start to a codex. Freedom's known as the Starcraft Cemetery. Corliss was the regional toxic junkyard for centuries. Ships reaching astronautical near death at connecting mass relays were sent to Corliss. Stripped of every useful component, then dumped planetward to clear shipping lanes. Currently, Corliss hosts numerous Merc factions, such as the Blue Suns, rumored to be using downed ship fossils to test advanced munitions. Massive gun batteries threaten anyone attempting planetfall, with minimal defenses against ground attack. Because ancient volcanism greenhoused the planet, Corliss was too hot and CO2 rich to develop a biosphere despite the abundant lakes that could have sponsored the development of life. Now cool enough for protected habitation, but too scorching for anyone but extremophiles and mercenaries seeking secrecy, Corliss supports numerous Krogan outposts. The Krogan have therefore seeded Corliss with hardy Varen, often kept as warhounds. Varen live primarily on a diet of geophagus vermin and each other. Each other. That's gross. All right, so we're going to see a lot of Krogan and... What do they call it? I keep Freedom. on calling vermin, Known but they're the not. Varen. Same thing. Vermin, Varen. They seem very similar. Being hired is merely the beginning. You must earn your place in the mighty army we are building. What heck kind of loudspeaker is this? What are they broadcasting to these people? Look out position. Equipped for combat. Where? Up top. Oh, okay. Oh. Holy crap. All right, let's use the big guns. See how this goes. targeting. I don't like this thing as much as my black hole gun. I'm going to switch back to the black hole. This one's not as cool. Oh. Ah, impressive shot. I think that guy might still be alive. He's just frozen. I didn't reload. Oh, dang, I missed. Get my shields back up. Okay. Sometimes I reload automatically and then other times it like doesn't. I think when I like get up after shooting, it doesn't reload. Shit. Shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... You son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> Would Metagel change your mind? I've got a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking. Son of a bitch. I, I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there. He, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. 
we need coordinates on that Grogan pack. I don't get paid enough to die is pretty much what he was saying. <laughs> uh, we need coordinates on the Krogan pack. Get rid of them. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol, the last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jadora will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report. You got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. What is Jadora planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. True. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. So a stealth approach, okay. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. scare <laughs> was a nice touch. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. Okay, your so find Jador's lab. Hostiles ahead, watch it. Did he just say organ trauma? <laughs> Commencing organ trauma? I'm pretty sure that's what he just said. Oh. Thought I was harmless, did you? There's someone to my right, yeah. There's a couple guys. Oh, didn't mean to press that one. That was my bad. <laughs> he fell over the railing. <laughs> I wonder if that was on purpose. That was a nice touch. Oh, there's more. Okay, let's run to this cover. more to our right. squad works pretty well together i ran um these two during the dlc and they're honestly like very good together it's probably my favorite two to take out on a mission right now where like we have to do actual fighting who is that is that someone that we're supposed to be looking for code six off-world presence shift fire from the krogan hostels in the compound why are they focusing on this krogan Oh, I missed. Watch it. You jumped in front of my gun, Miranda. <laughs> Watch yourself. Don't cross the streams. Who is this? Is this who we're looking for? Maybe? You are different. You. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. He's only a week old? What? 
lab bred but full grown. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Jeez. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bred to kill. No. I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A breeding program. Trying to escape Genophage effects? Escape? Escape was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. Um, is what he's saying possible? Yeah, how did you fail? I don't understand. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. If Mercenary was correct, Krogan prone to mental instability. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? Uncertain. Likely irrelevant. Appears Okir has had no success. Interesting. This is wild. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. The basics? Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. Mm -hmm. And now I am here. Interesting. Raised, then rejected. Yeah. Control group, failed test. I don't know, but I am not perfect. Interesting. Maybe because he didn't fight us. Like he gets feelings of compassion. He said it's been like four cycles of just him killing and now we, our smell or something makes him want to stop. Um. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Okay. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Dangerous. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. <laughs> Why have you stayed here? You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me if they come, I fight. But I will not run, and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Wow, that was super strange. I have so many like questions that I feel like are not going to be answered, but I just I'm questioning so much right now. Krogan blood rage. Feared throughout the galaxy as nightmarishly violent warriors, the Krogan are both aided and hobbled by their legendary blood rage. In the grip of that madness, Krogan becomes seemingly invincible, but are merely totally unresponsive to pain. Blood enraged Krogans fight regardless of injury level, to the extent that Krogan shorn of all four limbs continue gnashing past brain death until total somatic death. These uh, supremely resilient, hyperviolent blood rage is the synergy of two aspects of Krogan neurology. 
This first aspect is a positive feedback loop in which adrenaline, also activated by fear or rage, suppresses serotonin, the brain chemical that induces serenity. The second is the overdeveloped Krogan limbic system. In Krogan, as in human, fear or rage shifts mental control from the frontal lobes responsible for reasoning to the limbic system responsible for aggression and survival. During that shift, Krogan and humans exhibit diminished capacity for logic and self-control. Krogan's and humans. Makes me think of J uh, Jack. Prior to the eco ecological devastation of Tachanka, uh, blood rage was extremely rare among the Krogan. Back then, while all Krogan were capable of heightened anger and violence in fight or flight scenarios, almost none experienced insensitivity to pain. The 1% who did were those suffering serotonin suppression. At that time, Krogan society regarded the condition as pathological and medicated or imprisoned sufferers to protect them and society. Following nuclear, econ um, nuclear ecocide four millennia ago, evolution selected only those Krogan afflicted with blood rage for survival. Today, there is no living memory among the Krogan of a life without mindless, murderous fury. Jeez. Okay. That's wild. That's like absolutely mind blowing to me right now. Okay. I feel bad for him. I want to... Is he laying on the ground? What is he doing? He's just sleeping here until... His calling or something? It's so strange. Don't like the look of that. Stay alert. Yeah, that's a... Must be a damn life. They're all... Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap. Nothing. Can I go up this way too? Okay. Enemies in town. <laughs> Whoa, big butt. <laughs> <That was laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I just like zoomed right into her butt. Oh, that was amazing. That uh, was amazing. Oh, geez. Okay. You see that dodge? Let's go. All right. Let's get up here. Oh, geez. Okay. Shields, let's go. Time to die. Okay, there's another one over here. We'll put them down. Let's 
I'm gonna go do an ammo run. Try to find some ammo around here. Back, buddy. Heads up. Sorry now. Close combat. Problematic. Yeah, I know. Are there? They're just gonna keep coming. My Jeez. shields are down. Wow! Oh, I tried to press the space bar, but it, I wasn't by the wall. Now let's finish you off. Okay. Is that it? Dang, that was a lot of Krogan. Got spicy in there for a second. Do I have ammo in my other gun now? Okay, let's go. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. I'm just kind of looking for ammo at this point, but I think we're all full pretty much. I also forgot to switch my, oh no, it was our first time trying that avalanche gun. I don't like it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna switch back to the black hole gun. It's okay. It's just as it stated unpredictable, it feels. All right, so there's a door to bypass up here. I'm guessing we're getting through here. Rifle damage upgrade. Heavy ammo, some meds. We're about to walk into some war, aren't we? What is that? Like a pot of something? All right. I think that's everything in here. Well, there's some ammo over here too. Oh, we're full. Trouble ahead. Yep. Warden over here. Yeah, there he is. Wow, get undercover. Found that one. <clears throat> All right, this guy needs to go. He's annihilating my peeps. I need to get some ammo. There we go. I need to jump over that. I was very lucky. Did you? All right, there we go. Let's go. Good job, guys. What's this? PDA? I 
think I was gonna find it for a second. <laughs> I started to panic. Got into the red. 4,000 creds. Okay. this one. I keep accidentally pressing camouflage. How'd they get over there? Jeez, Miranda. All right, I'm gonna go run over here with her because she needs help. I'm getting annihilated. <gasps> I might die. Oh boy. All right, shields back online, kind of. Kinda, sorta. All right, we'll heal for a second. Do that. Get wrecked. Like, Miranda just running in front of people. What is going on? Stay undercover. <laughs> Wanna go grab some ammo? Wrong one. Get one down. Almost got Morgan on that one. Okay. That sounds bad. Blue sun's what? Oh, corpse. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was wild. Toys? My god, these people. They're comms. Alright. Power cells. Anything else in here? Some ammo or full. A wall safe. Nice. 4,000 creds. This place is a wasteland. I don't know how the population is so huge here. That's not a bad. I think he's dead. Maybe he'll shut up now. All right, another PDA. Oops. Oh, I don't see one like that. Not that one. Oh no, I don't see another one. <gasps> I think I missed them too much. Oh no, oh, here's one. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh, it's, oh. <laughs> Dang, okay. We're at like 90% accuracy with bypasses at this point. We're slowly going down. <laughs> I 
I know some people like save before them. I should probably start doing that. You guys told me that a while ago that I should be like quick saving before I do a half pad. Shields to get back. I think I need to be closer in order to. Get a sneak on him. take forever oh target is organic okay well the warp just takes like forever on her to cool down there's another one up there where are they oh they're under the stairs okay Incineration tech. Is this low? Do I have to use a meta gel maybe? Okay. We have to make sure we heal. I think Morden is also down. Alright, we're back. Come over here, Morden. Be right there. Morden, you are like <laughs> out in the open, buddy. Stop shooting, Shepard. What? I think I accidentally shot him. It's getting messy. Alright, that grenade launcher needs to go. This is such a bad spot to fight. Because, like, you have the people coming from your right, and then... Oh, they just have a bunch of, like, nades and stuff. Holy crap. Alright. We can do that to get into better cover. And then we're going to use... Oh, we can't use that right now. Come on, come out. Oh, they're like tucked back behind there. Just nothing to help. I think they're... Oh, no, they're still alive. Jeez. We need to take this person down. Yeah. 
finally. Need assistance! She was wrecking people. Ooh, that was a heated fight. I think that's probably the closest I've been to like not making it and then like trying to get myself back. That was intense. All right, so that's I'm guessing where we need to go. These are just this is where we came from, right? We came from over there. Okay, I'm sorry, I get sweaty. All right, so let's run through these doors. I think that's our only option. Yeah. <gasps> Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. Reina, I know you. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. Reina Phenoptis, you let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. It doesn't ring a bell. Was it the lady that came out of the... I'm trying to think back to Arena Thanoptis. The one that came out of that organic mother thing? I don't remember that. Probably best if you were in Saren's lab. Yeah, I'm not proud that of what wasn't went Vermeer, on there. Though. But I'm using what we learned for the greater good. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. Try harder to avoid trouble. <laughs> Trying to buy off your guilt. Stay out of my way. I want to know more about Okir's work. He sounds like a sketchy dude with what he's doing. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. He wants to help his people. He's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Should have killed her. Too much knowledge without ethical boundaries. <laughs> Dang, Morden. Okay. Well, whatever the heck they're doing in here is not good. And I feel bad for these, like, they're babies. They're baby croaking. They don't know. Oh, this is, this is pretty bad. All right, let's do what everyone does and, like, quick save before. <laughs> Just in case. Because these ones are hard. These, like, code segment ones, they can get a little bit tricky. Of course, this one's going to be fine because it knows that we saved before. <laughs> That's usually how it works. All right, got some creds. Here you are. I've watched your progress. Oh, it's Okir. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're Okir. You don't seem particularly caged or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased Shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. Hmm, and I bet you will too. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, 
Inrod Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. Hmm. I did what I had to do. A tough decision. Yeah, I mean, it was a tough decision. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's Pale Horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. So why are you here? To stop it? I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. My rejects? Personal issues irrelevant. Here for the collectors. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. What? I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. This is so strange. How does he see no wrong in creating thousands of imperfect Krogan? Like, I don't even... For her army. They're obviously hostile. You don't want to horde? the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the genophage on your people. Perhaps, but I will restore the Krogan, and my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or Horde would. My legacy is perfection with each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead. They will exceed, but not forget. What in the world? I don't feel good about it. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them many Krogan. I may have information for you. But the tech was consumed in my prototype, after I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. Like, how does he have no feelings at all towards what he's doing? So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. What in the world? Is your soldier ready? If your pet soldier is as strong as you think, maybe I can use him. Perhaps I can strike a deal to Well, I didn't want to say that. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. I was just curious. Attention, I have traced the Krogan release. Oak here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. That's Geodor. Mm. 
So what? She's gonna kill the <gasps> all of the Krogan? She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Why should I trust you? Yeah, I I mean it does look like I hold the power now, but I don't You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. So he's trying to create the one perfect Krogan and like he doesn't care how many failure Krogans he makes to get there. He just wants to create the best. But what does that entail? Like a true fighter? Or someone that has compassion and also, I mean, I, I think it's hard to believe that they would have compassion. I mean, look at the ones that were trained that we met outside. Although he did say like when he, oh gosh, my mind is so like bent right now. I don't know what to believe or who to believe or who to trust. I'm weirded out by this entire situation. Like, look at these piles of bones and things that he's been doing to these poor Krogan that he's just mass producing and making aggressive and... Oh, my mind is a pretzel. I've already struggled a lot with, like, understanding how I feel about the genophage that, like, this mix that's like thrown in there right now, use this. I'm just like mind blown. That was also very loud. Like, I don't know what to think anymore. I just know that whatever is going on here is not good. I want to know more about this one main guy that he wants to make and create. What is the perfect, been spotted. the perfect guy? probably means business so <laughs> i need to i need to start focusing on this dude get behind the thing Watch out. <laughs> okay <laughs> oh geez there's a kogan over there too all right i think he's dead maybe is this mech done i can't tell I can't tell if he's just what, frozen or if he's actually dead. Watch out! Oh, there's a Krogan over here. Holy crap. Enemies inbound. <clears throat> Alright, we need to do something about this freaking lady, man. We need to get a better drop on her. Watch out. All right, so that mech is still out and alive. Hold on. I don't know what the heck that was. Miranda just died. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Holy crap. In the lab. Damn it, what's our kid doing back there? Shepard, the lab are you alive? With the systems I saw you die. The lab systems are unprotected and I have gained limited access. According to lab scanners, the room is flooded with toxins and Okira's personal life signs are failing rapidly. I recommend haste. Okay. There's just a lot going on, Edie. There's a lot going on. There is no haste. <laughs> All right. Who's still shooting at us? I still hear like bombs going off and stuff. Did she run? All right, 
So we gotta go back behind me. So what, through the doors again? Okay. Oops, nope, stop. Running in this game is awful. <laughs> it's exactly the same as it was in ME1 and it's just awful. Am I supposed to go down or up? Can I go down? Sorry. I don't think I can get down there. No. Okay. So we are supposed to go back up. There was a lot of like explosions. Miranda died. I don't know what Edie said other than haste. Died? You gave me time, Shepard. If I knew why the collectors wanted humans, I would tell you that everything. He died protecting this freaking prototype. He wasted his life to save this single Krogan. Right? Delusional. Unlikely one Krogan, however strong, could have impact Okir wanted. Am um, almost certain. Suggest leaving it. Professional jealousy. Afraid he'll make your genophage obsolete? No, but Krogan genetically dangerous, socially dangerous as well. Have enough enemies without adding this. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. I'm kind of nervous about taking this with me. I don't know really how I felt about Okir's entire presence, but... Oh man, I am like in shambles right now. What a mind pretzel, this entire, like so much mental gymnastics behind this entire genophage stuff is just making my mind like, think of all of the possibilities. Like I feel like my inner Morden is like coming out and there's like, yeah, there's a bad part to all of this. Like we should just get rid of this sample. And then I'm like also wondering what makes a perfect soldier? Why does he think that this one perfect specimen is gonna change things? I don't know. I'm just like, I'm also piqued by curiosity, but, and he's not looking to actually cure the genophage. He made that very clear how he understands that there are emotional defects in the Krogan race, but he doesn't want to cure the genophage. He just wants to make the perfect soldier to walk over the bodies i don't know i was just that entire conversation with him and then to see that he's not even going to be with us and i can't even ask him anything now we need to find out when this specimen wakes up i'm just i'm mind blown colony uh coloning facility destroyed okir dead but his son was recovered Loss of Okir could be a problem. We'll allow Shepard to decide whether to activate the Krogan. This is crazy. I wonder if I could have saved him if I would have hurried. Um, we got some Krogan vitality. All Krogan squad members get plus 25. So there has to be more than one Krogan squad member to make this be, say, all Krogan. Interesting. Got some sniper rifle damage and some creds. But I have concerns about waking it. Me too. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. That excited are you? I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I don't want to say that's the fun part because I don't think that. We'll be careful. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. The cargo hold, okay. This is insane. Decide whether to open the grow tank. 
This is crazy. I'm gonna take a look at our journal. Decide whether to open the grow tank of the Krogan super soldier aboard the Normandy. Okir is dead, but his genetically engineered Krogan soldier remains preserved in his grow tank. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to open it just because of my curiosity. I don't know if that's a good decision or not, though. What if it's like... Oh, geez, I don't know. Let me see if I can talk to Morden about it. I hope that he has something to say about this situation, because I could really use his expertise right now. I want to know what he thinks about it. I'm with Morden on his stance against the genophage. We talked about that. Was it last time or the, or the time before, I think? I'm with him. I just don't... I just don't know. How is this one perfect specimen soldier gonna change the outlook of the genophage? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll Dang. be here if you need me. I was hoping he would tell us something. <laughs> I need I need his words of advice. <sighs> Alright, let's go talk to Joker. Um, I forgot to talk to Joker. No, I forgot to talk to him after we onboarded so, Jack. Adam, how are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. I like how they have faith in, in me. It's nice. Ah, oh, I forgot to talk to him after Jack. Commander. Dang. Maybe he doesn't have anything to say. I assume everything's going well up here? It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Uh, task times. Uh, seems harmless. That's it? You both shut up. <laughs> I think it's harmless. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Choker. Right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. Okay. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. Maybe he didn't have anything to say about Jack. Because he definitely didn't have anything to say about the specimen that we're holding in our cargo hold right now. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's see if we have any messages. Nope. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Really? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. Garrus is tough. Oh, you're talking about Garrus. He's tough. But I do worry about him. He's been through a lot, not just physically. Yeah, There's mentally. Something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. <laughs> Kelly. I could use that. You're into aliens, leave him alone. I feel the same way, he'll be fine. I do feel the same way. I wanna give him a big squishy hug and tell him that it's not his fault that he lost his entire squad, fighting for what he believes in. I know exactly what you mean. You two would be such a cute couple. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. All right, apparently the elusive man wants to talk to us in the... What did she say? Like the... The main room? Let's go see what that's about. Briefing room. It's been a while since we've talked to him. Shepard. I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. 
If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. I just... Uh, this has nothing to do with what he just said. Um, also, Ashley... <laughs> I just went through like the biggest mind burst ever. So Ashley, I'm very excited about learning more about Ashley. Um, but I just put together where I remember his voice from. And I don't know if he's the same voice actor. I'm gonna actually have to look it up. Um, but he sounds like the guy from Charlie's Angels, like Charlie himself. I think he might be the same dude. I like just like heard it as he was talking that time. I think he's the guy from Charlie's Angels. All right, anyways, Ashley. She's stationed on the horizon. What is she doing on horizon? Last I knew, Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies, but they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. You can't be coincidence, right? The collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. Yeah. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you, especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after her to get to you. Can we notify the Alliance about it? We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. I saw that Once coming. you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Okay. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. I'm excited to go this see Ashley. This is the Ashley. most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. The most warning we've ever had. Joker set a course to possibly for run into them. I've got to go see the professor. Aye, aye, Commander. What the heck is? Tell me you have something. <laughs> yes. Lilith, we've got a problem. It's Still can't Ashley. calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. Is that one of I'll the... Run. One of their ships? The collectors? What is that swarm? What are those? Oh, it's the things that... Make them pass out. Oh no. Really gross. They didn't have to do all that. That was too much. Wonder why they're here. I wonder if it does have to do with us. What the heck? Assuming control. What? 
can just take over its crew's mind and walk in their body, kind of like the Rachni. We are the harbinger of their perfection. Prepare these humans for ascension. Ascension. What? Prepare these humans for ascension. All right, I'm going to bring Morden because we were just talking to him and Miranda. We're also like just a really good team together. I really like running with them. I think that they do like really good damage and stuff, but jeez, I have no idea what's going on. I'm all I'm, I'm also thinking about how we didn't feed our fish after that last mission. I hope they don't die. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be thrusted into this by talking to the to the elusive man. I kind of wish that they would have given me a second to like decide to land here because I was actually going to like finish up this episode. We're already running on almost three hours. We'll see what happens when we get up in there. I also want to switch back to my black hole gun because that one is not... It's okay. It's just not my favorite. Those things are still here. Aren't they going to attack us? Uh, maybe Morden found like a way to stop them from affecting us. Maybe. This is wild. Horizon. How are we? Morden, you sure these armor upgrades will protect us from the seeker swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confused detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. In theory? Experimental technology. Only test is contact with seeker swarms. Have to test them in person. Should be exciting. This is wild. There's so much going on here right now. So yeah, I was right. Morden came up with some sort of way to cloak us from these seeker swarms, that is what they're calling them. Interesting. Look at all the lightning and stuff happening here. Look at what's happening to the weather because of the presence of this ship. Holy crap. This is bad. This is really bad. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Unfortunately, I am going to stop here. I have a feeling that it's going to get extra spicy in this area. And I don't know why they just thrust us into this entire setting. Like, I thought we were going to go talk to Tim and just a conversation about the Krogan that we just picked up or something. I was not expecting it to lead me here. <laughs> I'm going to end here and we will start this quest off right off the bat next episode. So it's going to be right off the get go, just getting right into the action here. I'm excited to see Ashley. I hope that we can save her before the collectors have grabbed them. This will also be our first time going and seeing the collectors and fighting them up close. So I am very much looking forward to getting started in this quest that I was just completely thrown blind into and learn a little bit more about the collectors. So, so far we have two new squad members that we picked up today and I like Jack. So far I like Jack a lot. I think that she is going to bring a lot of interesting depth into how I feel about Cerberus once, once more. I kind of thought when I first started to understand Jack that maybe she had been through some stuff growing up and lo and behold, we find out that Cerberus raised her in one of their child camps and put biotics into her. And I can't even imagine growing up like that. No wonder why she has so much anger and hatred. And now she's working for Cerberus again. She can't escape them. Hopefully we can continue to get on her good side and be friends and find, help her find some comfort in her mission. Today was full of a lot of mind pretzels and mental gymnastics for me. I don't know where I stand on opening up the Krogan 
if I should actually do it or not. I am interested because I want to know what makes him perfect. What makes him such a perfect candidate? I don't know what will happen when we open up that case. I am like a side of me. The like angel side is like, no, don't do it. He's going to murder everyone on the board. And like, we're going to have to get rid of him or he's going to be evil and try to kill people on board. And then the other side is like, well, maybe the doctor that we found was trying to find a way to make Krogan more resistant, but also at the same time compassionate. I find that really hard to believe though. Seeing as how we met him and he was mass producing Krogan and just kind of flinging them to the side if they didn't fit his perfect Krogan soldier specif specifications, he just, you can have them. You can have them for your army. What he was doing was, was so disgusting and so Cerberus that I don't really want to open up his prodigy. I kind of want to just keep it around and not open it. But I also have that side of me that wants to play Mass Effect that is like, no, do all the things, see all the options. And I'm like really internally struggling with that. So I'm not really sure where we're going to end with that entire situation, but I am excited to see where the next episode goes. We're obviously going to start with a big bang, meeting Ashley, meeting some collectors, doing some probably hefty combat in here. So I'm looking forward to the next one. I hope you all enjoyed today's very crazy episode. I'm looking forward to seeing your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out here. See you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.